Hello, Year 9. This is Mrs Bond. I put together this presentation to tell you about the GCSE Fine Art course we run. Art's a fantastic practical course if you have an interest in art and creativity. You may wish to develop a career in art and design. However, art also has many transferable skills that complement a wide range of other subjects and careers. A qualification in art is a strong foundation for post-16 courses, but it's also an ideal gateway qualification that supports careers requiring planning, analytical and problem solving skills, plus demonstrating sustained engagement. That's seeing something through from completion to conception. Is art for you? One of the benefits of this course is it's entirely practical. It's composed of coursework and a practical exam, so no revision is necessary. However, you need to be open to trying lots of different techniques and mediums. Mediums are what you create artwork with, for example, paint, photography and pencil. You also need to be dedicated to meeting deadlines, attending period seven and completing homework. There is a design progression of knowledge and skill taught in Key Stage 3 that appears in GCSE Art, so you will be familiar with a number of the techniques and artists that we look at. However, throughout the course, but more so in Year 10, further working methods, styles and techniques will be taught. This slide just lists a few. This slide shows examples of students' GCSE artworks. I'd also like to mention that the majority of images throughout this presentation have been created by Furness Academy students. Both past students and their art teachers are very proud of what they've achieved and hopefully if you opt for GCSE art, you will also enjoy this sense of achievement and pride too. I'm going to tell you a little bit about assessment. The course is entirely practical with 60% portfolio, in other words, coursework, and 40% external set task. This is the practical exam, which is actually just like another coursework project. The importance of this course, however, is to remember that every piece of artwork set from the very start of year 10 throughout to the end of year 11 is marked and recorded towards your final GCSE grade. So the course is set out um, with two project units for the portfolio. Unit one is based on the theme of animals and takes up the majority of year 10. Unit two, you will start in the summer term of year, year 10 and you will have a choice from three themes, Wonderland, Nautical, or pop art. For the exam element of the course, you will choose a theme set by the exam board and then spend a 12 week period researching and developing ideas towards a, an original final outcome piece, which you will complete over a 10 hour exam period. But don't worry, that's not all at once. At the end of the course in year 11, we hold an exhibition to celebrate your successes and everybody will be invited. This slide shows some examples of the work completed during um, Unit 1, the animal project in Year 10. The focus for Year 10 is for you to be taught uh, and experience working in a wide range of styles, techniques and mediums. You'll also be introduced to a variety of artists. The purpose for this unit is to equip you with a bank of experiences that you can use to influence your independent work in Year 11. This project also helps you to identify your personal strengths, which you can build upon in future projects and work. Unit two. This is one of the um, themes that you can choose from, Wonderland. So here are some examples. You are encouraged to develop your own ideas using knowledge from your successes, previous successes. Um, and unit two, the work allows for so much more personal freedom and choice. You get to sort of pick the images and the ideas on the theme rather than being told. Pop art is another choice for unit two. This opens up so many avenues for personal exploration. 
you may decide to go down the theme of portraiture, food, landmarks, virtually anything is open for the potential of development. The third choice from Unit 2 is Nautical. This is a great project that allows you to use our local resources for references. However, you also have the freedom to explore and investigate anything related to the sea. Finally, what can art study and art lead to? There is the option to continue art studies at A and diploma level post 16. However, I just want to point out that sometimes art sadly um, suffers from a misconception that the only opportunities are to become an artist or an art teacher. This is most definitely not the case. Um, I've put a YouTube link into a fantastic video that is really inspiring. The concept is, can you name something that has not been man-made, that has not come from a drawing, then gone into a design and into production? And once you start to think about this and look around, the career opportunities just become vast. I hope I've helped give an overview of the course. Feel free to get in touch with me or your art teachers if you need anything going over further. Thank you for listening.